The other piece of equipment up front is a radio. Um, our PD Flight uses our own channel that will talk anywhere within the city of Memphis for the most part. Um, so when the radio is turned on, it automatically defaults to the PD Flight channel and you'll want to turn it up to an appropriate volume and you can listen. Uh, if you need to talk on the radio, the way that's done is you hold the mic, key down by press, depressing this button on the side, the push to talk button. You're going to want to hold that for about a half of a second because this is a repeated channel. So that will give it time to activate the repeater and then at that point anything you say will be broadcast across. Once you finish talking, you're going to want to also hold it down for about a half of a second and that will make sure that your transmission doesn't get clipped at the end. Um, the other channels that are located on this radio are Med 1, which is the Med's internal channel to talk to themselves. So we really don't use that channel ever. Then Med 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are Med channels that are used through Medcom. You'll be assigned to one of them and then you can call report. Uh, we generally call reports via cell phone, but we always want to make sure everybody is comfortable with how to do it via radio in the event you need to. And the other thing is, as we do more Centricom calls and things that don't require as much direct physician interaction, then instead of having to pick up the phone, sit on hold waiting on the doctor, what have you, you can call report directly through the radio and let Medcom do all that for you while you can attend to other things. Um, if you want to do that, Med9 is your calling channel. And what you're going to want to do to get Medcom is you'll want to depress the microphone like we talked about and say Laboner 2 or Laboner 1 Memphis Medcom. When they come back, you're going to tell them a couple, a little bit of information. They're going to want to know where you're transporting from and where you're transporting to. So let's say we're coming from Tupelo to Memphis, then we'll say we're transporting from North Mississippi Medical Center in Tupelo to Laboner in Memphis and we need to speak to the ER nurse, or if you need a physician for orders, then you can tell them that. They will get that person on the line and you know let you know when you're ready to speak. Once you've done that, they're gonna come back on and they're gonna tell you to switch to Med 2 through 8. So then you're gonna change the radio dial to let's say they switch us to Med 2. You'll switch to 2 and then you'll say Laboner 2 on Med 2 to alert them that you've made it to that frequency. You'll wait. They all the, sometimes they don't acknowledge that that you're there, but they're they're listening to you. When they get the physician on the line or the nurse, whoever it is that you're wanting to speak to, they'll come back and tell you go ahead with your traffic. Once they do that, you've got the line, and you can key key the mic by pressing the push to talk button and go ahead with your report, whatever it is that you need to say. Okay. This radio in the front is the exact same radio that you have in the back, and I'll show that to you when we get back there. But what's important about that is if you have the radio in the front on Med 2 and the radio in the back on Med 2, then instead of talking, all you're going to do is be giving feedback. So it's important that the radio on the front stays on the PD Flight channel so that whoever the driver is is able to communicate back with dispatch and communicate back with other team members. And then the medical crew in the back can stay on the medical channels and communicate with Medcom, Laboner, and other you know other medical facilities. If for some reason you do switch to the PD Flight channel in the back, it's important that you turn that radio off or turn the volume down when you're done, so that when the driver's communicating, they don't get feedback. Because obviously they don't have the ability to you know to move back and forth and change the radios over. Um, the other channels that are on here, there's the engineering channel, which is Laboner engineering frequency and then also Laboner security channel. So those are channels that we really don't need to be you know, playing on or, or talking to folks on on a regular basis. But if for some reason there's a need to communicate directly with those folks, then instead of you know, trying to use the phone and trying to track them down, then you can communicate directly with them there. And that is pretty much everything that's up front here.